Today we're moving on with Gauss's law and we're going from um, conductors to non-conductors. And so what we're going to have here primarily is um, uniform charge distributions. So instead of having Q sitting entirely on the surface of a conductor, we're going to have Q spread out completely through the volume. All right, so this one, we're going to talk about a spherical distribution, okay? So <clears throat> we have this idea of rho. It is a volume distribution, and it's charge per unit volume. So if I have Q spread out through the entire volume of the sphere, I've got Q over 4 pi times the radius of the sphere, whatever that is, sorry, 4 thirds pi times the radius of the sphere cubed. That's going to change the way we look at stuff. So let's, let's get into it. We have our sphere, and now we're going to have plus Q distributed completely throughout the entire thing. Now, what's, what's nice is when we're at a place where, if we say this is big R, okay, my R is greater than big R, well, that's nice. Gauss's law is simple. We still got to start with E dot DA is equal to Q enclosed over epsilon naught, but if we're outside of this thing, then our enclosed charge is just Q over epsilon naught, and it's E times the surface area of my Gaussian sphere, 4 pi r squared. So E is exactly, on the outside, what we had before, uh, KQ over r squared. It's when we get inside that things get tricky now. When we get inside, when my little r is less than r, my Gaussian surface is here. I'm not enclosing the entire charge distribution. I'm just enclosing a little bit of it. So E dot DA is Q enclosed over epsilon naught. Well, this is still E times 4 pi little r squared, uh, but I have to deal with Q enclosed now. All right, now because we have a volume distribution rho, Okay, my enclosed charge is going to be rho times my enclosed volume. Whatever that means. Well, my enclosed volume here is a sphere enclosed uh, in my Gaussian sphere of radius little r. So it's rho times 4 thirds pi little r cubed. So my electric field is going to be that Q enclosed rho, which is Q over 4 thirds pi big R cubed times my volume enclosed, 4 thirds pi little r cubed. That's the case. 4 thirds pi goes away. 4 thirds pi goes away. Little r squared and two of those go away. My electric field is Q times R over 4 pi times big R uh, cubed times epsilon naught. I left that off. Okay, there's an epsilon naught down here. Now, this is very similar to what we saw with gravity when we were when we drilled a hole through the earth and moved outward. What we see for our electric field now as a function of radius. is that my value builds as I get to that surface linearly over R, and then once we're on the outside, it decreases like 1 over R squared. 